Welcome to part 4 of customizing the HTML5 video controls. In this lesson we will focus on programming sound controls into our custom video player using JavaScript. We're going to add a mute button and a volume slider control by accessing the muted and volume properties of the video object in JavaScript. There's two properties we can access. One is called muted and the other one is called volume. We're going to continue with the same code that we left off with in video number three. So right under your time display, or right next to your time display, we're going to add we're going to add another button. So let's just grab this button and paste it right there, and let's name it mute BTN. And on the inner HTML, let's put the word mute. Now let's highlight that ID, press Control C to copy it, and now let's open up our JavaScript. Now we go up to the top of our JavaScript and we're going to initialize a new variable name called mute button. And let's go ahead and set an object reference for that mute button. So let's put mute btn right there and mute btn right there. Now we have to set up a click event listener for that button. So let's just grab this play button's click event listener. Let's put it right here at the bottom and let's change that to mute button mute button add event listener of click and we'll name that function vid mute now all we need is a vid mute function put into our script so let's go down to the bottom here let's type in function vid mute open close parentheses curly brace and curly brace now this function is going to be set up very much like the play pause function so let's just grab that if else condition statement put it into place in the vid mute function and then we're going to say if vid dot muted we're accessing the muted property so if the video is muted we'll say vid dot muted equals false to turn the sound back on and then we have to make sure we're targeting the mute button here and it's inner HTML it's going to say mute and then down here in the else condition you can make the button say unmute and remember, in the later videos, I'm going to show you guys how to put graphics in place of all these words. Because you would want little icons instead of words on your buttons. And in the else condition, also make sure that you're setting the muted property to true. Now let's view it in the browser that we're testing with. So if I hit mute, you can see my video is now muted and my button says unmute. So if I click that button again... I hear sound and the button says mute. Okay, so that's working just fine. Now let's take this seek slider and I'm going to give it a specific width because right now it just has the default width. So I'll type in input in my CSS, pound sign, seek slider, open, close curly braces. And let's give that a width of say 240 pixels, whatever you want. Now let's see what that looks like. I just want to make sure that I have enough room here to put a volume slider and then a full screen button. So I want that to be a little bit less wide. So I'm going to make it maybe 180. Refresh. And now I have room for the other controls that I'm going to put in. So we're going to put a volume slider right here. It's going to be very similar to the seek slider. So we'll have a volume slider right here and then we'll leave ourselves enough room for a full screen button on the end here. So let's go down into our HTML and we're going to copy this seek slider input and we're going to put it right next to our mute button. And we're going to name that instead of seek slider, sound slider. Or you can name it volume slider, that makes more sense. Now let's highlight that. Let's go up into our CSS and let's put input, pound, volume slider, open close curly braces. Let's give that a width of about 80 pixels. And you can check to see what that'll look like. That looks good to me. And remember, we're going to be prettifying, making this whole thing a lot more sexy after we get all the base controls programmed. Now, all we have to do is apply it to the script. So the ID of our volume slider is volume slider. So what we'll do is add that right after the mute button where we're initializing all of our variable names. We're going to go ahead and make an object reference for that as well. Right under the mute button. Put volume slider there and there. Now you have an object reference for that. 
let's copy this seek slider add event listener function let's go ahead and put that under the mute button add event listener and we're going to change that from seek slider to volume slider add event listener of change and what we're going to do is change the vid seek function to a set volume function so the name of the function that fires off when people slide that volume slider the name of the function that will execute is set volume so let's copy the name of that function let's go down to the very bottom let's type in function set volume open close parentheses opening curly brace and closing curly brace now in the HTML for the volume slider we're gonna put the value at 100 that way the volume knob is all the way in the full volume position so if we check that we'll see our knob is now here all the way to the right like it should be now inside of your set volume function you only need one line of code so you say vid take the video object and you access its volume property and you make that equal to your volume sliders dot value divided by 100 and let's go ahead and give that a test see everything's working just fine now when you mute it you're gonna want so if you hit the mute button you're gonna want this little dial to go all the way to the back then when you unmute it you want this little dial to go all the way to the front and I'm not gonna program that in for you guys it's very simple to make this knob go wherever you want it to go and set the volume for your video so you see how I just set the volume for my video so what you want to do is go into your vid, vid mute function and put in some more code that will make sure that that volume slider knob goes where it needs to go and the volume is set where it needs to be set when people mute and unmute your video that's your homework assignment that I'm gonna leave for you and I can do it I can do it in just a couple of minutes but I don't want to do everything for you okay let's take a last look we have nice volume slider control we have a mute button that works we have our time display for the current play time and the full duration we also have a play pause button and then a video seek bar now the last control that we need is a full screen button sitting here and that will give us a whole standard player and that will be just the programming side of it and I'll also put out another video after that one showing you guys some design tips you can use CSS to prettify this whole thing and make it sexy make it look the way you want and instead of using words on your buttons we're gonna use actual graphics